this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new please subscribe and help me change the world while electric car at a time. I want to thank all my supporters and today we're going to talk about the biggest news not only in the United States but around the world and I have of course connections in my homeland in Israel where they experience a tremendous amount of discount of their Tesla uh, cars Model 3 and Model uh, Y not Model S and X that didn't happen I know it happened in the United States so let's do two things I want to quickly look at the uh, discounts which are up to $13,000 before the tax incentive that's crazy and then talk about at least three reasons why I think that Tesla has slashed their prices in such a tremendous way. One of the reasons that they gave is a bit dishonest and we'll look, I'll look at it in a minute. So let's take a look at the Tesla uh, website. Here it is and here's your Model 3, uh, uh, you know, standard range, 272 miles and that now goes for uh, $43,000 uh, uh, for let's make it $44,000. The uh, performance, even the performance, is now under the $55,000 threshold of $53,990. Just a quick reminder, and Tesla did a nice thing here by putting the federal incentive tax, saying it, it's good until March 23, which is the first quarter, but uh, because then there's going to be some kind of a discussion and guidance about the minerals but let's not get get into it so who qualifies very simple married couple joint filing uh, uh, up to three hundred thousand dollars annual income two hundred twenty five thousand dollars for heads of house households and one hundred fifty thousand dollars for anybody uh, else filing and who gets it tesla model three price with all the options in it that you choose has to be at or below 55,000, model wife five seater 55,000, which is so dumb and stupid, uh, and uh, model Y with seven seat up to 80,000 dollars because it adds a little bit of weight. Give me a break, but that's it's another another story. So let's go to the model Y. So as you can see. Only, it's very interesting, only the uh, long range gets this discount, 52990 without any option. This is without zero options, but not the performance. For some reason, Tesla made it uh, $57,000. I mean, what's $2,000 and then everybody else can get it, but be that as it may. Interestingly enough, I have to tell you, I looked at, in my area, which is New York, New Jersey, and that, there's not even one available Tesla Model Y standard range, standard range that was available just a day ago. There were many of them available. They're all gone. Now there are many on inventory that are long range and performance in configurations that some of them are below 55,000 and some of them are above. So this is a great, so take let's say the $44,000 of the standard range which is a very popular Tesla car and now take down $7,500 if you qualify. By the way the S and the X got about $20,000 discount. That is an incredible thing. So three reasons and one of them I want to be I want to really call out Tesla because I think it's dis disingenuous the first one hey supply and demand that's it you saw what Tesla did at the last month of quarter four in December when they slashed their prices by 37 uh, 3750 uh, in the United States with 10,000 free supercharging mile then they slashed it again at the last two weeks of December by $7,500 and 10,000 super uh, charging miles. You know what they did in China? In Israel, my homeland, they slashed it by 20-ish thousand shekels, okay? Uh, and, and gave 10,000 kilometers, <laughs> 10,000 kilometers of uh, super fridge. So su supply and demand, Tesla wants to move a tremendous amount of cars and that's great, there's nothing wrong with that. Tesla is going to kill the competition without, is killing the competition, without, the um, uh, uh, this incentive Tesla still has 65 70 percent depending uh, market share in the United States but now that they are getting this can you imagine uh, the, the, the demand and this is for the first quarter now Elon Musk was asked 
asked, and I, this one I believe, that's not the disingenuous part. Uh, I believe that, and he said that, what do you rather, uh, higher margin on each car selling less or lower margin selling more? And he says more. But one of the uh, Tesla executives in China, by the way, talked about, uh, about partial normalization of cost inflation. Now, it's half true, and half true sometimes is worse than a lie. Half, why is it half true? Yes. Energy prices, for example, in the United States went down by 4.5% in the past uh, month or so, I believe. It's inflation. The CPR came down, um, I think, to 6.5%, up from 8.2, 8.3%. Uh, energy prices, like I said, going down. Energy, as in mobility and, and, and electricity and all that going down, I can see it. Uh, gas prices in my area went down by... Two dollars per gallon. It was five something. Now it's low threes. So I saw today three eleven. Not that I care. I don't. But uh, for those, so that's so to say that partial normalization of cost inflation, meaning because of lowering. Uh, the cost of energy and lowering cost of uh, mobility and and um, freight and boats and all that there's a it's a lagging indicator of future discounts or future increases depending on the on the contracts that uh, Tesla or any other company signed uh, about for batteries or for shipping their boats on freight uh, or on trucks or whatever that is so if the cost is low now and Tesla signed on this cost now and moving forward Forward, yes, it's going to be it's going to be lower eventually, but don't make no mistake. There is a demand issue, not for only for Tesla, for everybody, for everybody. There's no question about it. So now that Tesla was killing the competition in the United States, now it's gonna we'll see what happened at the first quarter. What will be the sales? I mean, can they go 450,000 uh, deliveries in first quarter, which is usually a slower quarter? Who knows? We shall see. So it's a great opportunity for uh, new buyers to buy. Now, let's talk about a little bit about who is very, very mad. Who is very mad? People who own Tesla or bought Tesla just a few months ago, whatever it is. Now their value of potential sale of the cars uh, is, is going down because, because the price of a new is probably lower than, than, uh, is lower than the price of somebody who owns. Like if I to sell my Teslas now, I'm probably down twenty to forty thousand dollars in the in what I can get, or maybe thirty thousand dollars. Who knows? I didn't test it, and I don't care because I'm not selling. You only win or lose if you sell, just like the stock market. Speaking of the stock market, it, at the beginning it was a tremendous amount of a uh, panic, panic. But then at the end of the day, Tesla went down just by a dollar sixteen. So it was, you know, people understood what's happening. It's like not even a percent, point nine. Four four percent down. So supply and demand. Don't uh, don't get don't make make any mistake. In China, with BYD uh, going up three hundred and twenty percent in year over year. Now, granted, m m more than half of their sales are what they call new energy, which is a nice word to say hybrid and plug-in hybrid. But the others uh, are pure electric. But they're doing a great job. But ho however, their margin are slim. Tesla is still maintaining. So Tesla has the room to lower prices and still make good margins. So it's very interesting to see their uh, margins for quarter four and then, of course, for quarter one this year. All right. Go get a Tesla if you'd like. Thank you for watching and i see you next time.